Galileo Galilei was a mathematician, physicist, philosopher, and astronomer. Galileo was born in Pisa, Italy in 1564. He was educated in a Jesuit monastery before he studied medicine at the University of Pisa. Galileo first gained fame when he discovered what is now called the Law of the Pendulum. One day in the cathedral, he was watching the lamps that were hanging from the ceiling and saw them swaying back and forth and started thinking about the nature of a pendulum. In 1609, Galileo heard about a telescope built by a Dutch eyeglass maker. He soon built his own, 32 times more powerful, and started studying the heavens. When Galileo looked at Jupiter through a telescope, he discovered four tiny little lights that seemed to circle Jupiter. Those are what are now referred to as the Galilean moons. This confirmed Copernicus's idea that celestial bodies rotate each other. He also looked at Venus and found that it had phases. During his life, Galileo published his findings in several manuscripts. Most of these earned him the ire of the Catholic Church, which eventually labeled him a heretic. He was sentenced to house arrest for the last years of his life and died on January 8, 1642. Galileo was really the father of Western science. Prior to his time, there really was not the same sensibility of experimental science. Galileo is fundamentally responsible for what we know about the universe today. Revolutionary English physicist, mathematician, and philosopher Sir Isaac Newton is perhaps the most famous scientist in history. Born to a farmer in 1642, Newton worked his way through school waiting tables and cleaning wealthier students' rooms. He went to university at Cambridge, where he would eventually earn a professorship. During the Great Plague in 1665, Cambridge shut down and Newton returned home. It was during this hiatus that he first conceived the method of infinitesimal calculus, began to theorize the laws of planetary motion, and started his work with light and color. In 1671, Newton demonstrated his revolutionary reflecting telescope for the Royal Society, and soon after published his notes on color, describing his research on optics. After a visit from Royal Society member Edmund Halley, encouraging Newton to prove Robert Hooke's hypothesis on planetary motion, Newton wrote his Principia, which introduced his three laws of motion and first described the idea of gravity. His work made him very popular and led Newton to being elected to Parliament. After several years in London, Newton suffered a nervous breakdown. Though he came out of it, his interest in physical science was replaced with philosophy and alchemy, particularly how they both related to a higher power. Newton's later years were spent less in science and more as a public figure. Upon Robert Hooke's death in 1703, Newton became president of the Royal Society, though he didn't get along with many of its members and made many enemies. Newton spent his final years a wealthy and famous man whose discoveries made enormous impact on society. Thomas Edison gave us the electric light bulb and is remembered as one of the greatest inventors of all time. Without Thomas Edison, we wouldn't even recognize the world as we see it today. Every time we turn on a light switch or an electric motor, we see the fingerprints of his innovation. Born in 1854 in Milan, Ohio, Edison's first job was selling newspapers on the railroad. By age 15, he was a telegraph operator, where he became interested in electrical science. In 1880, Edison came upon a really practical incandescent bulb using a carbon filament and also an electrical generating system to distribute the electricity to these light bulbs, which fundamentally changed the way that we live. Thomas Edison acquired a staggering 1,093 patents in his lifetime. The storage battery, the motion picture projector, the motion picture camera, the phonograph or record players we would call it nowadays. We take for granted that we can listen to any music we want to hear at any time without having to go to a concert hall. But that was not possible before Edison. Thomas Edison made music and pictures more accessible. When Edison died in 1931 at the age of 84. Most of Thomas Edison's research was not to understand why something behaved the way it did, but try to understand how to make it better. Edison said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And I think we could all learn from that.